It was an Arab Shabbos Kodesh in the year 1870 in a town in Germany when a man by the name of Mr. Beer a Shomer Shabbos Yid closed his factory and went home for Shabbos. He had nothing to do with anything that happened that weekend in the business world until Sunday when a message came to his home and it was, I guess, one of the fellows that worked in his company and said to him, I went into the office today and there were a stack of telegrams all addressed to you. Here they are. He opens up the stack of telegrams and he sees that it was all telegrams from the German government. War had broken out over the weekend and they desperately wanted to ensure that they had enough raw material. Mr. Beer sold metal, copper, all kinds of different things and they desperately needed all of the metal that he had and were willing to pay a price for it. Obviously because it was Shabbos, he never responded to any of the telegrams. And each additional telegram expressed the urgency of the German government and it upped the price for the meal, for the metal, for the steel, for whatever it was. The final telegram was an astronomical amount of money more than what he would have charged. But it was the desperation of the German government to ensure that they had the resources and the raw material they needed for the war effort. He contacted the German government and he let them know. He says, listen, I got multiple telegrams. I know you upped your offer on each and every one of them. It was my Shabbos. I don't do business. The first offer was a fair price. I'm an honest person. I'm not going to charge you more than I would have charged with the first telegram. Let's do the, let's do the deal. Let's do the business. And I'm only going to charge you the lowest amount, which I think was fair. The German government was astounded. And because of his honesty and integrity, they made a deal with him that he would be their exclusive supplier. And he supplied the vast majority of metal for the entire war effort and became one of Germany's fabulously wealthy Jewish people. Why? Because of a moment of honesty, honesty, a moment of integrity. Maybe halachically he didn't have to do it. Similar story to this in the Gemara. He went lefnim mishur hadin. He went beyond the letter of the law, like my Yekisha grandfather, my German grandfather, Mr. David Rothschild, always says that the letter Yud comes before the letter Kaf, because the word Yashar, honesty, integrity in business, truthfulness, comes before the word Kasher. So many people are so makbid on Kashrus, but how many of us are truly makbid on Yashrus? That's the question we need to ask ourselves.